Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and eat um, some Chip Shop Curry Flavour Crisps. No, I'm not making this up. Now these are actually in date. It's currently the 1st of February and these expire on the 23rd of February. I think it's only fair that I eat these within date because I've never tried them before and I've no idea what they're even going to be like. Now, to be honest, when I go to the chip shop, which is, I've very rarely ever gone, to be honest, for quite some time, it's, but sometimes, occasionally, if I've been out and I'm absolutely hungry, <coughs> and I'm in town and I have no choice, maybe, or something like that, then yes, but uh, again, I would probably, I've never seen a curry at um, a chip shop, to be honest, maybe I'm wrong, I know there are various um, Indian takeaways here, and people eat curry there, I've never personally had um, curry from a chip shop, but there you go. Right, not to my knowledge. I could be wrong, um, but I don't remember ever having done so. But I could be wrong. Okay, um, if ever it's, you know, years ago, I would have like, many, many years ago, um, we'd have um, curries at Indian restaurants, and a long time ago as well, I occasionally had an in I've had an Indian takeaway and heated it back home, but that was very, very a long, long, long time ago. Um, probably over 20 years ago, I could be wrong, but I can't remember. But I've ne I do not think, as I said, I've ever had curry from a chip shop, but I could be wrong. So, anyway, this is um, Golden Wonder, is a, a crisp brand here. They're a rival to Walker's, um, Walker's being the main brand, and Golden Wonder's probably the um. Second most famous brand, possibly. I say possibly. I know it was for people my age, uh, but I know there are new brands that have come along in recent years. Um, anyway, that's irrelevant. I said, it says, as a celebration of 75 wonderful years of fully flavoured crisps and golden wonderful memories, we're bringing back some classics as well as you for our fans. Beef and onion and chip shop curry. Now, this isn't beef and onion, this is just um, chip shop, this is chip shop curry. Of course, we couldn't forget our famous cheese and onion, a flavour we first introduced in 1962, and a firm favourite ever since. Um, well, anyway, I bought this as part of a six pack, okay? But there's, I'm not going to bother showing opening when I opened up the six pack, it was a waste of time. This is one of the because it's in the pack of six, so there you go. So I've got enough wasting time, and I'm going to open it. And I'm going to try one. But before I do, I'm going to show it you. This looks like a crisp. I'm trying to see what they might have put on it, because sometimes they put various spices on it. Um, it's hard to turn this appalling camera lights, truthfully, but it's not a very good camera, I'm afraid, but there you go. So, you can see some light slight bits of dots on it, I don't know what it is, maybe they put some sort of um, curry powder on it, I've no idea, I have to check. Um, okay, it's got curry powder, um, chilli powder, dried onion, button, buttermilk powder, And various other things. Obviously, it's got potatoes and sunflower oil. There is a curry flavour to this. It's extremely mild, so I do not feel my mouth exploding. Often with a lot of um, Indian food, some of it can be very hot, for example. I once bought something that looked like twiglets, but it isn't. And um, I'm going to have two or three of them before my mouth absolutely exploded. I don't know what they put in it, you know, because that was totally cold, you know, not cooked. Well, I mean, that mouth cooked it, you had know, to do it, but I mean, it wasn't out the oven or anything like that. And, I'm just explode, I could barely eat them, so, you know, but, it's extremely mild. Mm. 
Do I like it? I'm not too sure. It does have some sort of curry taste to it, but I think I probably prefer other flavours like smoky bacon and cheese and onion, superly. Well, if you wanted to try something different, or you're genuinely curious as to what um, Indian curry cuisine might taste like, then this might be for you, okay? I don't know if this was a limited edition. Um, I haven't seen it since, but I haven't looked too hard either. From recollection, I think I bought these before Christmas, but I'm not sure. I'll be honest, it is different, and it does taste like curry and sauce, so to be fair. But, to me it seems like as if you were like drinking curry sauce, but not having anything else with it. And the whole idea of a curry is you have curry with other things, like maybe chicken or lamb or other things with it, you know? Or vegetables if you um, are a vegetarian. And... You know, it's like drinking the sauce on its own, you know? Okay, mum. I'm eating most of the pack. I'm going to have a few left. Um... Would I buy these again? I'm not sure to be honest because I think I prefer truthfully smoky bacon and yeah and believe it or not smoky bacon crisps over here. The current ones are that I've come across are suitable for vegetarians, believe it or not. So you know I'm not a vegetarian myself, but you know, I respect people who are and you know so You know, um, I think that flavour is better, and in my opinion, smoky bacon is one of the best flavours over here that you can get over here, truthfully. Um, my least favourite, ironically, is um, salt and vinegar. Um, truthfully. Ironic, because, you know, I like fish and chips, but... Smoky bacon, but um, for some reason I'm not a fan of salt and flavour, vinegar for flavour for crisps. I prefer either cheese and onion or smoky bacon generally. There you go. I'm not going to bore you anymore with finishing it off. You know, I could, and partly because I'm cooking for my mum at the moment and um, I don't want to burn her dinner, okay? So, there you go. Golden Wonder Chip Shop, Fla Chip Shop Curry Flavour Crisps. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.